Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. It's a double header. Two cases, total of 24 boxes, a random team break, all card ship, a lot of great stuff, a lot of prospect hunting, which is great. Big thanks to this group right here. We only ended up having to do one filler. Congrats to the people who won spots in that Mosaic Choice break. Another double header is up if you want to get on the next one. And there are the teams right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Javier down to Harry. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and good luck. Ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Tigers down to the A's. All right, Javier with the Tigers, Fred with the White Sox, Matthew with the Reds, Jose with the Angels, Brian with the Red Sox, Sean with the Pirates, Jimmy with the Giants, Anthony with the Cubs, Joe with the Orioles, Ryan with the Blue Jays, Tim with the Phillies, Chris with the Rays, Steven with the Mets, Jimmy with the Rangers, Wes with the Yankees, Javier with the Padres, Joe with the Mariners, Craig with the Diamondbacks, Dan with the Braves, Javier with the Cardinals, Bill with the Royals, Adam, you got my Dodgers, Dan with the Rockies, Ed with the Guardians, Danny with the Twins, Harry with the Astros, Simon with the Nats, Joe with the Marlins, Sean with the Brew Crew, and Harry with the A's. Danny was asking earlier, he honestly doesn't know what the good teams are. Twins aren't bad. Yasser Mercedes, I believe, is the chase that you're looking for. All right, let's alphabetize by team. We're also going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list you saw on the previous screen is now officially printed out and remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We're going to have a little help from my colleague Evan in just a moment. So we're going to rip this box, this case first. And we've got the second case right over here. Take one of these. Oh, you got a knife already? Excellent. Yes, sir, come prepare. Appreciate it. We could have two stacks. Okay, one per mini box. One per mini would be lovely. Sounds good to me. And I think people can see this area right here. So you can stack here. Okay. And then across here, whatever you'd like. Sounds great. Let's do it. All right, good luck, everybody. Big news today, Evan. Aaron Judge. Oh, yeah. Locked up by the Yankees. Big, the Yankees yeah. did it. Yeah. They did the nine years, just what Judge wanted. They gave him the 360, just what Judge wanted. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no way they couldn't, right? No, yeah. I think they were painted in a corner. Fans would, 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 would I don't know, would go, would go nuts, I they think, would. if they didn't lock down Aaron Judge. To me, the crazy news is that the Dodgers are no longer going after Trey because of fan base. Mm. Which I think if you can get a guy of that caliber, I'm sorry, but I'll wait for him. I understand that. I, I understand. That. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I'd be, I think I'd be just neutral about it. I, I don't really that, mind maybe. either way. Well, yeah, too bad. yeah, maybe not. But, but I could see that that the first 0 for 4 game that Correa has, he's going to get booed. Yeah, yeah. There's 100%. no there's no Freddie chance like Freddie Freeman gets. You know what yeah. I mean? I think the vibe will be very different. Yeah, no, you're all kind of center. I just. Guys with that talent don't come around very yeah. often. Yeah. Also, I think Freddie, or Freddie, I think Carlos Correa is going to get like a multi-year deal, right? Yes. I don't think the Dodgers are willing to go more than a two or three years two or on three. guys. For sure. And he, Correa just did that with the Twins, so I don't think. And then, where did San Diego get all this money? <laughs> don't know. Don't know. But they're the they're the only game in town, I guess. So they're getting yeah, guess so. they're getting all that pro money. The, the Chargers money that wasn't, True. it's not there. 
Liam Spence, 264 out of 499. That's going to be for Anthony and the Cubs. There's Oscar Colas for the White Sox, 304 out of 499. Refractor for the White Sox. That's going to go to. That's going to go to Fred. Here's Jason Curio, one of the chases for Cleveland. That's for Ed. His brother Jackson is the other big chase for the Brew Crew. Oh, we didn't get a signature uh, Cleveland. This is for you. It's got to be a hit. Okay. Okay. Fair. It's got. If can't it was an autograph, yeah, can't do it. Every, yeah, true. Be too much. Be a win, yeah. But if it's an autograph, or if it's like a. It's a train whistle hit, it gets yeah, yeah. both, it gets double. Ooh. If it's out of fives and under, it gets the double. That's what you know it gets the Cleveland, this is for you, and the train whistle. Gotta get you like a There's a Brandall Mosquito. Oh, yeah, I know, we really should. Dan with the Braves. We'll get Mike a uh, can do moment t shirt. Oh, yeah. 17 out of 250. Might You might be able to put. I wonder if there's like an old, because that's an old uh, army slogan, yeah, yeah. Navy slogan for the CBs, <laughs> the can do. I wonder if there's like a vintage shirt that has like, oh, there has to be, you might have to look that up. Yeah, maybe that. <laughs> Harry Ford, Orange Shimmer, 5 out of 25. Joe with the Mariners, nice looking one there. You know, feel free to. Oh, I guess Michael's out there. Never mind. I was gonna say you can feel free to pop out there if you need to help someone. Okay. But uh, I got you covered, man. I think we're good. This shouldn't take so. This is not like intro work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This, will, this Chrome's a little bit easier. Here's mini box. Mini box. Mini box. And mini box. All right, next one. Good luck. Uh, Ricardo Cabrera, 180 out of 250 for the Reds. Matthew Shira with the Red Legs. Purple parallel. Got an orange Wander Franco. 23 out of 25. That's a nice shades of greatness. Insert card. And How about Morocco, huh? Yeah, I can't believe Morocco can't just took care of Spain. That's that's the Cinderella story of the World Cup. And then they haven't given up a goal, right? I don't think so. Roderick Arias is the Yankees chase. One of them for Wes. There's Jeremy Pena for the Astros. Yeah. That, that's they might not have given up. Yeah. A gold. Which could be dangerous if you can just stop a team's creativity, frustrate yeah. them, and it might be enough. It might be. Ryan Mountcastle, 277 out of 299. I feel like no matter what the ranking is, the World Cup is always somewhat open. Yeah, there's always there's always upsets, and there's always going to be a random team or two that gets into the knockout stages and yep. and then wins a game, you know. Yep. And then there's USA who can always count on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> O'Neill Cruz to 199, and JT Schwartz for the Mets. Stephen Carney with the Metropolitans. Well, if, if the if the USA could find a uh, a striker, a proper striker. Hey, the next eight years will be much better. Yeah. Sean Maddock has the Pirates. You get that O'Neill Cruz, Aqua Lava. Well, there's that Ricardo Pepe kid. Yes. I mean, he still, he wasn't even on this squad, I think, which was kind of a surprise for it some was, people. But yeah. I would have given him at least, even if he if he wasn't going to feature. Some experience. Yeah, just, just the vibe of going out there and just I don't know. I, yeah, I, I just thought that it would just be. Yeah, it would only help. But, but I guess we're not running the U.S. men's national team. We're not so. <laughs> yeah. There's Noel V. Marte to 4.99 for the Mariners. Joe has the M's. There's Jaden Rudd, 
Toronto. Ryan with the Bluebirds. There's Michael Hernandez, 94 out of 99 green shimmer for the O's. That's for Joe Simone. So we're looking for like low parallels and autographs of Yankil Fernandez for Colorado. That's going to be for Dan. This is for Bill. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie cards. And Yas, Yas here Mercedes. Danny, that's we're looking for this guy too. Bo Bichette to 250. And Kevin Smith, rookie auto for the A's, 98 out of 499. Oh, Axios has some trivia for us. Which team traditionally opened the MLB season each year with a noon start? Reds. Was it the Reds? Grizzlebees is saying Reds. Oh. I just don't Evan's saying it. Reds. They play an early game at home every year. Reds, hey. correct. Nice. Why? No, it's I didn't a, realize it's that. A, they have like a little parade before huh. and everything. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We can thank them. They're fantastic MLB network for that knowledge. Hmm. Is this ready? To, oh, these yeah. are ready to go. Those are ready to go. All right, so we got a few more boxes out here. Nice. And away we go. <laughs> yeah, they're like, let's throw a parade, yeah. let's get the first let's baseball game going. of the year. Yeah, but they don't do that anymore, right? I, I, think, I think everybody starts on the same day now. Sure felt like it this year. Yeah, there's Christian Vaccaro, 11 out of 125, aqua parallel. There you go, Simon. Maybe we'll find some ink for him a little bit later. There's Roderick Arias. And Drew Baker. The Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker going to Chris Butler and the Rays. We got a Baker here in LA now. Yeah. Baker Mayfield's with the Rams. Yeah. It looks like he's going to start, too. Is he going to start? Uh, they said Not tomorrow, a but. That he's going to play tomorrow. Really? Yeah. That's, what that, the that's a really short turnaround. Yeah. There's Ryan Mountcastle with a 499. That's hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, just a long this is Victor Acosta, two ninety nine speckle for the Padres. Javier. Yeah, where did the Padres get all that money? Yeah, man, that's what I want to know. They offered Trey Turner like over three hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. They say that potentially that Nick Machado is leaving after they're gonna opt out of that next year too. Tim with the Phillies. You bring Machado back to LA? Oh no, please. That's one guy. I think, uh, well, they might they might lose out on Juan Soto, too. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. There's Tyler Collins, Speculato for the Braves, 299 So, yeah, that's, that's why they're probably throwing around money. They're yep. like, we got to make sure we fill in the, those spots. How about that deductive reasoning? How about that? You know, yeah, how about that? Put us on the case. Uh, Dan with the Braves. There's Robert Hassel, speaking of the Padres, to 499 Otani might be a free agent after next yeah, year, too. you know who wants him really bad. The blue. The Dodgers. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind. Absolutely. Which is why I feel like the Dodgers are, like, sitting the luxury tax reset button this year. They know what they're doing. And they're chasing after some guys next year. Yeah. They got to extend some of the youngsters, too. They might. Yeah. Well, might, and this is a big year for Lux, too. Kind I think of it's a big prove-it prove year, year yeah. Miguel Vargas as yeah. well, Michael Bush, you know, Pepio, Bobby Miller, guys like that. I'm really a big boxer. Yeah, yeah, me too. Really There's Jay Allen to 99. Green Shimmer for Matthew and the Reds. Bobby Wood Jr. going to Bill and the Royals. How about Wilson Contreras signing for the uh, Cardinals? The, the replacement of Yannick wow. and Molina. Going to the rival. Yeah. 
is Raphael Devers to 250. So now what what happens with the I guess the Red Sox are pretty close to getting Xander back? That's what I heard. Uh, a little hard to believe. Yeah, Sean Maddock with the Pirates. You don't think like yeah, you don't you think like the Giants or like the Padres at this point are just gonna throw that money at him? Not only that, but it just seemed like that relationship was just so broken. Had soured a little bit, yeah. So broken. There's a Brandall Mosquito. There's also the Giants who had yeah. a 300 million judge offer out there. So now where does that where does that money go? Correa maybe? Well, maybe they reach out to Dylan. Maybe. That's true. They could sign Carlos from Dylan. I think that guy. Dan with the Braves. I think he wants like a five or six year deal. No, no, totally. But I, 23 out of 75. But I, I would. Year. I think the Dodgers awesome. are going to be more in the trade market, right? Yeah, and they got assets. I feel like they're gonna maybe chase after Willie Ademis and yeah, Corbin I'm not Burns. A huge fan about Willie, but I do like Corbin. Yeah, but if Corbin can come in that package, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, we'll take it. And Ademis is good for like he's kind of like a hit two thirty, but you can he get get you twenty five home runs from right, that right. spot, so it's not bad. No, it could be worse. I'm just not, no what about uh? The Marlins, there's Luis Robert for the White Sox, for Fred. Marlins have said that they're going to pretty much open up trade talks yeah. for their pitching staff Except outside for, of Alcantara, right? Right, right. Which they got some really good guys, especially right. some guys that missed all of last and year. And they need some bats. Yep. Um, Dodgers were looking at Pablo Lopez before the deadline last right. year. Right, I wouldn't mind that guy. Also, one thing that's not Jay really Allen. being talked about is they're losing quite a bit of relief, of relief pitching right now, the Dodgers. Yeah. There's Royland Mashandi. Yeah, they gotta they gotta retool that yeah. that middle relief. Especially if you're not gonna help the starters. Right. Alright. Another mini box. Full box. Another mini box, full box, thank you, another mini box, full box, let's go through another few boxes here, good luck everyone. Well, now that Aaron Judge is signed, I feel like the rest of the dominoes have to start falling just start this weekend. Yeah. We got Dari Lorenzo, 156 out of 199 for the Astros. That'll be for Harry. Got the Strohs in the filler and a blue parallel, 136 out of 150. Ronzi Contreras, rookie auto. Pirates for Sean Maddock. There's Ryan Reckley. That's for the Giants, Jimmy with the Giants. There's Khalil Watson, Atomic Refractor to 150. This is gonna be for Dan and the Rockies. Khalil Watson, Joe and the Miami Marlins, the fish. There's a Yerlin Confidant to 199. That's for the Reds, that'll be for Matthew. Another Yasser Mercedes will be going to Danny and the Twins. Let's look for parallels, look, look for ink. Got a Christian Vaccaro for Simon. We got a Jason Curio for Ed and the Guardians. Trey Sweeney refractor to 4.99, and a Ricardo Cabrera redemption. Reds. That's going to go to Matthew Sharaf.
Oh, Red Sox signing uh, Masataka Yoshida to a five-year deal. What do you think about them getting Kenley? Oh yeah, they got Kenley Jansen yeah, too. Yeah. He was saying Ross Stripling back to the Dodgers, but I found that kind of interesting. Is he a free agent? Yeah. I could see the Dodgers doing that. I could totally see it. If they're like, hey, do you want to be in the bullpen? Right, right. You know, I mean, he kind of tried the starter thing. He wanted to give, get that opportunity. He got that in Toronto and Didn't mixed results, you know. But he might want to come back. And then I guess that Japanese pitcher has a big market, too. Well, yeah, this uh, Senga. Yeah, yeah. Greg Cullen going to Joe and the Orioles. Yeah, so Yoshida is going to end up in the outfield for the Red Sox. If they get Xander back, it could be pretty solid. They're going to lose J.D. Martinez. That's a Dodger candidate, That's too. That's I would love that. J.D. Martinez, J.D. Martinez for a couple years. How old is this uh, guy for the Red Sox? Only uh, Yoshida? Yeah. Yoshida is 29. Okay. A little older. Yeah. Usually those guys are a little bit older. There's one guy right now who's just incredible that's going to get posted next year who's younger he would just set all the home run records really he's, just, he's like second baseman it's unreal Nick you're second baseman with power yeah would let him. Well, jump, jump. who doesn't want that there you go we've got cool. one more cool, cool. it's a double header that's what I thought uh, let me actually clear some space for you though no there's Leonardo Balcazar for the Reds that's going to be for Matthew Shira. Me. Actually, let's make sure that's on camera while you're ripping that open. Um, there's some space for Mr. Evan here. There's a box there. There's a box there. And there's a box right here. You can bring that case over here. And we can see you popping that baby open. All right, so this is case one. And we're working on case two right now. Edgar, what's up? The double header. You can check the schedule. That'll that'll tell you exactly what we're doing. And what else is coming up. Okay, so this was the second part of that box. We got Helio Ramos to four ninety nine. Got an Austin Wells, Arizona Fall League, Atomic. And Alexis Hernandez, 83 out of 299 Speckle autograph. Oh, going back to Kelly Jansen. Yeah. Um, he got a lot of money. He did. He did. <laughs> Cause I was kind of half, pay. I was kind of half hoping that maybe he'd come back to the Dodgers at a little discount. I thought he was, to be honest. But I was just like, hey, good for him. If Red Sox are gonna give him that deal, fine. This is his first time in the AL too, huh? Wow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's Spencer Torkelson, rookie for the Tigers. That'll be for Javier. I love how the pictures at Dodger Stadium. I remember that game so well when he debuted there. Out of 199, Drew Baker, Tampa Bay. And that was a long time. He was a catcher, remember? Yeah. Came up as a catcher, and they Absolutely. converted him Absolutely. in the minors. What a change. He was like Kershaw's, like, big, you know, He was Kershaw's, yeah. like, catcher in the minors, right? Yeah, yeah. I did a little spotlight on him. Oh, yeah? And when I was doing a radio show one time, and I was like, converted pitcher, uh, converted catcher, and the pitcher who's throwing 100 in the minors. Nice, nice. Yeah. 50 out of 150, William Bergola. Yankil Fernandez. Got more color here. There we go. We got Danny De Andrade. 114 out of 150. Blue Lava Autograph Twins. Danny. Last spot mojo. Slotted in as the number 24 prospect in the Twins organization. Last spot mojo. 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. No 
compromising for interest and creating the Brandon Drury because he had Brandon a Drury. first half and then kind of batting average went down when he was on the Padres. But you could probably get a cheap source of power yeah. from a corner infielder kind of like Brandon Drury. Guy. Util yeah. more utility ish nowadays. Yeah. Errol Vera, two ninety nine for the Halos. That's going to be Jose and Logan Cerny. Tim with the Phillies, a little tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo, gets this one. I think there's another Philly earlier as well. Number 27, Phillies prospect, corner baseball America. Was it the uh, Rule 5 draft last night? Rule 5 was last night. I don't know what happened in that Rule yeah. 5. I don't know if Dodgers got picked up or anything like that. Maybe right. not. Pirates got the number one overall pick. We saw that. Yeah, yeah, the first ever lottery. Yeah. It's interesting. They kind of deserve it. Sure, yeah, they do. <laughs> it's Benny Montgomery to 199 for The Rock. That'll be for Dan. And Tyler Collins. So nice use of the canvas there, Tyler. Good auto, good big auto for Dan and the ATL. Someone was asking earlier, Evan, are the Phillies the team to beat with the re all the recent moves they made? At the moment, yeah. You think so? Yeah. For the NL. Uh, for the NL. For the NL? Yeah. I don't know about the whole league, but there are still some very competitive teams. Pete Crow Armstrong to 199. Yeah, a lot of good teams in, in, in the NL. Yeah. James Wood, ooh, piece of candy. Bowman Ascensions, this is your uh, one per case. Sometimes we've seen two, but usually it falls, the odds are uh, usually one per case. So that's for the Padres, and that will be for Javier. It's a good looking card there. It's Julio Rodriguez for the M's, that'll be for Joe. It came to the league. Jose Ramos. That's the voice that you would use <laughs> from those old, uh, those old horror movies. There's yeah. Jaden Rudd. Bum bum bum. Right, right. Ryan with the Blue Jays. All right. So here comes the. Uh, the final box of the first case, and then stacked up here, you can see the second case happening right now. Here in the double header, Freddie Freeman Refractor. 238 out of 499. Freddie, Freddie. That goes to Adam and my dog. Does Freddie Freeman win another MVP at some point in his career? Uh, I think he's got a two, two more year window. Okay, he's just okay. He's bat ridiculous. The guy's swing is so sweet. Right, and and even even after even post prime, he'll still be really good. Yeah, oh yeah. Not MVP good, but he'll still be right. Still be like all star good, you know. One hundred percent. He definitely has one of the most beautiful swings I've ever. Oh, seen absolutely. I, I really thought Cody Bellinger would pick up some tips from him yeah. as a fellow lefty, but absolutely. It's Jason Morabell, Rangers. Yeah. Jimmy with the Rangers. He needed a little change of scenery, maybe. Yeah. And there's Willie Fanas for the Mets, Stephen Carney with the Metropolitans. Now, Trey Turner got a huge deal, and and my initial inkling was like, oh, but like the back end of that deal is gonna be terrible because once he loses his speed, he gets older, blah 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 yeah. blah. But then someone made a point. I think I read this somewhere in an article. Or Telly Ramos, 75 for the Giants. That uh, since he has such elite speed. When he slows he down, he'll still be fast. So they're like, it's not going to be like, you know, like a, like a striker in soccer losing that speed and then. That's fair. You know, so. And look, the last couple of years still has been down, so he maybe saved himself a little bit. Right. This year it'll be back up with the bigger bases. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the the no pickoffs. Yes. Like or limited pickoffs limited, to the yeah. same base or whatever. Less uh, did you know that second base is also being moved in? No, I didn't. Really? So apparently the way... So are they rearranging everything then? It's still 90 feet, but the geometry was a little weird. I don't know, even know if I can explain it. Wow. But 
So for 100 plus years of baseball, we've been playing with a messed up second base. Yeah. Because I think they were measuring it from like he. I don't know. There's an article. Just look it up. I'll there's check it out. Yeah, there's exactly. an article that it, that explains why second base is actually moving closer to home, huh. but like the angles are still the same. It's very interesting. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Thank you. All right. So these guys are a little slippery, huh? They are. That first box was really slippery. All right. So there's a mini box here. There's a mini box there. Mini box here. Another mini. Another mini. Come on, guys. Settle down here. <laughs> that whole second base thing is going to go off. Another box. So minor league baseball to move second base closer to home plate is part of 2022, but I think they, I think they uh, have officially made it happen. Sources tell the Athletic then the second half is blah, blah, blah. they're gonna move second base inward, so it'll be closer to first and third base by about 13 and a half inches. It's over a, it's over a foot. The interesting thing about this move of the base it draws attention to the fact that bases aren't actually exactly 90 feet apart. Second base is a bit off and has been for well over a century. <laughs> the easiest way to grasp, it, grasp this is probably looking at this image, courtesy of the MLB rule book. Here, I'm gonna drop the link into the chat so people can see it. Um, the diamond here, follow the line around the actual baseline, just ignore the layout at part. Shows a line segment on the bases as exactly 90 feet. Notice the line takes a 90 degree turn around both first and third base, and home plate for that matter. But this turn at second base happens right in the middle of the base. Right, so, so you, so you see that line turns, Yeah. right? So that's at the outer edges of the base, right? But at second base, they measure it from the middle of second base. Oh. So that bag should be in, so, that so it's on the outside like the other two bases. Interesting, wow. I don't know if they've actually employed that in, in Major League Baseball. I wanna say they did, but maybe they haven't moved that bag yet. Man, that must have been such a pain for 13 inches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got you to unplug that <laughs> hole exactly. in the middle of the infield, move the hole forward, <laughs> drop it back in, re-landscape around it. Exactly. All right, there's Luis Meza to 499. The Bobby Witt Jr., of course, goes to Bill and the Royals. Luis Mesa, refractor for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Ryan. This is the beginning of our second case, ladies and gentlemen. We are flying. flying. Thanks to uh, thanks to Evan here. Appreciate it, Evan. Uh, Sean Maddock, Brew Crew. Maybe we'll find a future teammate of his here, but we'll get the Antonio Pinheiro. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Come on, you can't memorize all the no, I can't memorize them. <laughs> I wish I could. These shimmers are not numbered, which I'm why I'm breezing by though, but they are, uh, they will ship, all cards ship in this. Another double header is loaded up if you want to run it back. Got some full spots, planning on a couple fillers. There's Aaron Judge to 250. Locked up by the by the Yankees. No doubt about it, right? They could, they, they, I mean, they were stuck. They couldn't let him walk. It would just be a PR nightmare. It would just be a branding nightmare. There's Simon Muziotti, 36 out of 499, refractor autograph for the Phillies, Tim. And speaking of Judge, we are doing the MVP buyback in the store. Oh, you nice. Locals, bring in your Judge, your Goldschmidt. How, how long is that going? June 30, or uh, March 31st, actually. Oh, so a lot of time. Yeah. Out of 199, Jason Dominguez, maybe a future teammate of Aaron Judge now. Wow, that could be quite a uh, quite an outfield there. Yeah. Talk about some muscle. You get Giancarlo in there too. Jeez. Right. 
Just rotate them around the DH, give them a little rest yeah. here and there. There's Benny Montgomery, 99, Rockies. German Oaks, Notre Dame. That'll go to the Rockies. That'll be for Dan. That's right. It's Andy Thomas, Seattle. That's going to be for Joe Simone and the M's. I like this uh, photo of Andy Thomas here. Look at that hustle right there. Hey. His eyes are focused in front of him. You know, he's pumping his arms. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's, he's a gamer. Gamer. I like it. I like that attitude. Kevin Smith, Oakland A, that's for Harry in Oakland. Gets the rookie auto. He's not wearing a hockey jersey. Uh, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that the A's have another Max Muncy? It's crazy. And then they dropped Did you him know? in the exact same spot, the exact same round or something like Did that. Did they really? It was something crazy. They have the same birthday. They, oh, the same birthday? Yeah, something like that was just remarkable. But they're like, they're like, 15 years apart or yeah, something like that. Yeah, 15 years apart, yeah. So there, it's, it's, not like, it's not like their parents named him after Max <laughs> right, Muncy, right, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he wasn't in the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's just... It's crazy. Of all the names. Of all the names. And then to be drafted by the A's. Yeah, yeah same team. <laughs> They're like, we are not missing out on another Max Muncy. There's yeah. James Triantos to 299. Exactly. You think when that draft time... Like, I would have loved to be in the war room when they were like, are we really doing this? Are we really this? doing this? Like, I mean, it's like, it's like ignore the name. Yeah. Like, he's the best guy on the board right now. We have to take him, sir. <laughs> you just hear redemption time. It's like, are we taking another Max Muncy? <laughs> are we going to let him walk for nothing? No. Yeah. Well, let's just, we shall see. <laughs> well, it's just like the, now all you have to do is become the Dodger shortstop and you make 300 million. Uh, yeah. Making people money. Left yeah. We made Andrew Heaney money. Yes. We made Tyler Anderson some money. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna make Shelby Miller money next year too. Oh my god. Shelby Miller. We're gonna another Dodger reclamation project. I couldn't believe that that was like their day one signing. It's Joe <laughs> Simone with the O's. Yeah, all this, Shelby Miller is gonna go like have a ten and two record. Is that one of the worst trades of all time? Shelby Miller for a freshly first overall pick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's got it. Well, Jason Curio Shimmer for Cleveland. Yeah, it's one of the one of the more recent worst trades of all time. Leave it to the D-backs. Although maybe the Dodgers trading Jordan Alvarez. For a guy who pitched the third inning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Josh Fields, I think, right? Yeah. Giordani De Los Santos to 250. I think, I think uh, Andrew Freeman has publicly said that, yeah, yes. that's, probably, that's probably the one I'd like to have back. And you know what? I give him a lot of credit for that. Right. Most GMs wouldn't say that. No way. There's Jimmy with the Rangers. But I like how he owned. I mean, he's had so many other good moves that he can say that, I think, yeah. you know, but. I also like to think about, you know, there would be no Freddie Freeman. Yeah. And there's, there's certain things that just kind of, they just work out in certain ways. He's got a ring in, in Houston. We got Freddie Freeman. He's got Placencia, 68 out of 199 for the Halos. That's going to be for Jose. Evan, have you done Dodger Spring training? I have for I did the three years I was in Arizona. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. You were and went to it school is there. Fantastic. Ooh, Simon, there you go. Christian Vaccaro. That was the auto he was looking for. Yeah, you taught that. There you go, man. The draft board only consists of Max Muncy. <laughs> yeah, no, I just noticed that. Yeah, he's a draft board only Max. <laughs> Let's just scout all the Max Muncies right. out there. Joe Ryan for the twins, that'll be for Danny. 99. So it's fun. The whole experience is fun. You know what? The atmosphere is fantastic. It's a lot of families. The stadium's beautiful. Everything's cheaper. The players are talking to you through the dugout. You get there early. They're signing autographs. It's so just a fantastic environment. Hmm. Everybody's excited for the upcoming year. 
and I did a few of the stadiums there, and they're all really cool. Nice. I think that. are easy to get. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Here's another twin, Danny Dandrade, 226 out of 250. Got a Danny for Danny. And you can say you saw some Danny of the first uh, at bats for some prospects and things like that. Yeah. All right, that is that is pretty yeah. cool. All right, Brian Acuna, Ronald's brother, Speckle for Danny, 006 out of 299. Got a Julio Rodriguez rookie card. Yankil Fernandez for Colorado. Dan with that one. We're looking looking for parallels, looking for his autograph. Yas for the Twins. And then we've got a George Kirby for right, Joe and the Mariners. To, uh, Florida to see the difference. Yeah. Let's see if uh, there's any difference at all. In, this, in the whole spring training atmosphere. Yeah. Right. There's another box. Someone will give him a chance. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to be the Dodgers. The no. Dodgers are actually waiting on a, on a definitive ruling, actually. That hasn't they, been said yet. Yeah, there's yet. nothing said yet. So, I feel like they got some money off last year. Though. I think they did. Yeah, they didn't have to. But I think, I think he's got two more years, I want to say. Oh, my God, really? I'm pretty sure. I thought it was only a two-year huge deal. I think it was a three-year deal. So that's another reason why the Dodgers haven't been as aggressive. Yeah, seriously. Because, at least with long-term deals, because they, 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 have, they have actually have no idea. Yeah, 3102. Yeah, it's a three-year deal. So this upcoming season is the last Final year. year. Yeah. Wow. So they got to know, hey, are we, are we on the hook for $32 million? Right, right. <laughs> because that's going to affect how, what we're going to do, yeah. do in the off-season. Or are we going to get a little bit of that off? I don't know. Yeah. There's Shane Boz at 299. I mean, that's a superstar, all star player. Mm -hmm. right there. All right, there's Christian Vaccaro, Nationals, Simon, Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers, Javier. And there's Shane Boz at 299. That's right, I agree. Yeah, Dodgers playing chess, not checkers. True. I mean, listen, there. This guy, right? Once Trevor Bauer is completely clear of the books, and and among others, Shohei Otani could be a perfect addition to the Do to a lot of teams. But I'm sure yeah. the Dodgers will <laughs> be one Dodgers of the teams special. chasing him. Juan Soto could be a free agent. Aaron Nola, I think, is a free agent after 2023. There's a lot of names out there. There's Victor Labrada for Seattle. That'll be for Joe. <laughs> we don't know yet. That's the problem. After Angels are the name, May. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, you can you can you can Google that, Grizzlebees. Let's see what happens. So that's what we just asked. Yeah. I said no, and Joe said he doesn't know quite yet. I mean, he... I don't know. Yeah, I think... I uh, but then again, I would have said the same about Deshaun Watson. That, and that's exactly why I think that, that, he'll, that Trevor Bauer will play. Chris Butler with the Rays. I think after 2023... Someone gives him a, a show-me deal? Yeah, I think after 2023, maybe he doesn't pitch 2024... You know, and then someone will, will pick him up again after Padre for life. After he does some sort of apology <laughs> to us and like that.
There's Kyle Lewis, 49 out of 50, gold. Padre, Soto's a Padre for life, John saying, yeah. I can see that. All right, Joe. Here Potato. you go. Nice. Hey. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate it. Of course, anytime. Big thanks to Evan. He, uh, I think he shaved yeah, probably 30 minutes off this break. Oh, no, I was showing him the one That'll be for Chris Butler. There's Alexander Suarez, 150 out of 499. That'll be for the Giants, Jimmy with the Giants. There's Harry Ford to 299. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't think the Dodgers are getting Carlos Correa. But to see them in the same locker room, that could be pretty, pretty funny. I mean, Westbrook and Patrick Beverly on the Lakers. I mean, they got, they're on the same team. It seems to be fine. Oh, I was thinking of the, uh, All right, there's another Wander Franco rookie card for Chris Butler, Spencer Torkelson rookie card for Javier and the Tigers. We got a Christian Vaccaro for Simon. Pairs nicely with that autograph we saw earlier. Jason Curio, Jake Berger. Uh, oh, not numbered, so that might be a variation. Ian Lewis to four, 48 out of 499, that's for the fish. Joe Simone with the Marlins. Fred with the White Sox gets the Jake Berger. Jason Curio going to Ed in Cleveland. Jaron Duran, 147 out of 199. Brian with Boston. Willie Fanas. 249 out of 299 Mets. That'll be for Steven. And Cooper Bowman. What a perfect product for him to be in. That's going to go to Wes and the Yankees. All right, another box here. Esteban Machado. It's going to go to Toronto. Ryan with the Bluebirds. Cal Raleigh to 199. Nice season for him. Mariners. Joe. Kill Fernandez for the Rocky. That's for Dan. No, don't think so. If you look at the schedule, that's going to be after after the HTA case. I think the shot will be closed up by then. Jason Curio to 150. Ed with Cleveland. Charlie Welch, 142 out of 150 for the ends. Joe. Thanks, Grizzly. Maybe someday we will. Expand the uh, Jaspies media empire. Rafael Devers to 499 Red Sox. That'll be for Brian. Bryce Harper Blue, 97 out of 150 for the Phillies. That'll be for Tim. 
We've got Yosar Garcia to 299, Phillies, Speckle. And a Cal Conley, Dan, with the ATL. In New York, there's a radio show called, with, called Joe and Evan. Just fly, I guess maybe that just flows. Joe retired, though. I'm trying to retire. But I think we got a lot more uh, Bowman Chrome cases to sell if I'm going to get there. There's a Tyler Black, one out of 50, the Invicta insert, a little bit thicker cardstock here. Brew Crew, that's going to be for Sean Maddock. There's Edison Polino, 51 out of 75, yellow parallel for Boston. That's going to be for Brian and Boston. And nice, an Invicta autograph. 67 out of 99, Curtis Mead. Rays, Chris Butler. Nice. Back to back, minor league baseball, low A East player of the week. Axios is saying, your entire fantasy season comes down to Devontae Adams having a huge game tomorrow night. Need you to call in some, some uh, Raider Joe Mojo. You got it. Let's go Raiders. Let's go Devontae Adams. Get that Raider Joe Mojo out there. Let's let uh, Axios, let's, have, let's have, him, uh, have a big week. They've been trending in the right direction, my Raiders. Rams have been trending in the opposite direction. So, Raiders should be able to take care of business. All right, so that's it, nice. Right, let's get the final three boxes going here. Good luck, everybody. And again, big thanks to Evan for helping us uh, rip open some boxes that that saved us. I mean, looking looking like it has saved us an hour. Solo, this would have probably been closer to a two-hour break. Three sixty-one out of four ninety-nine. Willie Vasquez. Christian Vaccaro for the National, Simon. And then there's Ryan Duncone. Dodgers autograph for Adam. Hi there, no, no National Treasures boxes today. Or actually we have National Treasures Collegiate Football, but if you're looking for National Treasures of World Cup, we don't have that at the moment. The only National Treasures we have is Collegiate Football. Jason Curio for Cleveland, Spencer Torkelson, Wander Franco, Denzer Guzman, Purple Shimmer, 161 out of 250. That will be for the Halos. That will be for Jose. Again, all those Wanders are going to go to Chris Butler and the Rays. Spencer Torkelson's going to Javier. There's Curtis Mead again in his Fall League gear. There's Luis Rodriguez, 105 out of 125. You might see him in action next year. Spring training for the Dodgers should be pretty interesting. It's going to go to Adam and the Dodgers. We've got Alex De Jesus for Adam and the Dodgers. And Roderick Arias for the Yankees. That'll be for Wes.
We got a Rodolfo Castro Aqua Lava 134 out of 199. Sean Maddock and the Pi Pirates, not Padres, but Pirates. And another redemption. It's going to be William Bergola. Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph for the Fightin' Phils. That's for Tim and the Phillies. Christian Vaccaro Shimmer for Simon and the Nats. Another Wander Franco, another Spencer Torkelson. And there's the case hit. It's Jason Dominguez, Bowman Ascensions. Insert, short print, Wes with the Yankees. Edison Polino to 150. Boston, Brian with Boston. And Dylan Dodd for Dan and the ATL. Got Gavin Stone, 477 out of 499. He might be one to watch. He's been flying up the system, Adam Ledette, with the Dodgers. He's been kind of flying up the system. And he's uh, got a lot of swing and miss stuff, from what I understand. He has a nice spring. Might be in the Dodgers' plans in the rotation. Fernando Tatis Jr. to 499. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. That's going to be for Bill. Got George Valera for Cleveland. That's to 125 for Ed. And the last mini box. Simon Juan, purple shimmer to 250 for the Mets. It's going to go to Steven. Colton Kowser to 50. And our last autograph, Speckle Auto for the Brewers. That's Antonio Pinheiro, 195 out of 299. And that's Colton Kowser to 50. Nice one, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Hobby edition, a double header, a 24 box break, random team break number one. We've got another one in the store if you want to run this back. Some full spots plus a couple fillers. And thanks everyone for getting in. Here's your recap. A lot of nice color, a lot of nice prospect hunting. Tons of other uh, numbered cards avail uh, too going your way. Those will be all top loaded before before they're sorted and shipped out to you. Once again, big thanks to my colleague Evan, who helped us uh, rip open boxes. And we were able to get this done, I think in record time. It's, we're just clocking in at about an hour. Saved ourselves probably an hour. So thanks, Evan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.